Comics Plus, what is going on? My name is Akasan. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing swell. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while from doing uh, some of the reaction type gigs, but uh, we're having a special uh, situation going on right now. And we actually, we're actually doing some documentary stuff right now. You're going to be seeing that a little bit later, probably around the 200,000 subscriber mark or so for the channel. Uh, but uh, we are doing it the old school way with the beautiful microphone work. Let's get into it. Honest Trailers, Cowboy Bebop. Um, I, don't, I don't know why they're doing it, but I want to find out exactly why. Obviously, Honest Trailers, very good stuff. Um, that is a very good question. Why? Why? I guess we're all running out of stuff post-corona here. Not even post. America, what's going on, man? Put on a mask, says Batman. Let's go. Let's go ahead and check it out. This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. Okay. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. There's your answer. There's your answer. Grand Cross. Cowboy Bebop. In the early 2000s, Space Ghost. Swim changed the animation game, but only one classic anime series made fans sit up, rub their eyes, and say, "Oh, I missed Aqua Teen Hunger Force again." <laughs> oh, fine, I, no, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh crap! I think I like anime now. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Cowboy Man, I was just thinking about this anime. It's a noir filtered future mm. where humanity has spread into the solar system and covered it in hot, steamy jazz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where there's so much crime, bounty hunting is part of the gig economy that attracts <laughs> only the heaviest chain smokers. <laughs> I never thought about that. Oh, shit. Yeah, they all smoke. Can't get away with that now. Like a plain old moon rock to me, you know? <laughs> Hey, how much is it worth if you try to sell it? <laughs> They're basically Uber drivers with a few more guns. I never thought about the that. The crew of the Bebop, a group of misfits, each with their own mysterious and complex backstories right. that you're not going to get much of. I remember everything, really. Everything except my own life. They're Spike Spiegel. True that. A mean, lean fighting machine. <laughs> And we still haven't gotten that live movie also yet. Has a literal mean lead. <laughs> Faye Valentine, who's perpetually broke. If I get rid of my body, I won't need money. Perpetually the leaving. Hell? Hey, wait! Stand back! We're leaving! She's one of the sexiest women of all time in anime world. I have to go. Then man, Faye fucked it up. And perpetually wedgie. Ed, a genius hacker who talks like Elmo. Edward is Edward. Ed is never seen Ed knows where it is. Today, Ed looking for the spooky, mysterious alien. I never even thought about that. Holy shit, they are completely I, right. I'm intelligent corgi. Everybody loves I. Acts like a moderately intelligent corgi. And Jet, that guy your mom dated for a while after the divorce. Quit complaining and be thankful there's something to eat. Then don't come back. There won't be a place for you. Good riddance. You're not my real dad. Damn. Together, Damn. Team up to take on the vicious Vincent. crime boss known as Vicious. What? Occasionally, but mostly they'll be focused oh, okay. on Okay, yeah, food. right, right. Was this name Vicious? I thought it was, okay. We haven't had anything to eat in two days. I haven't eaten Bree or Halibut in a long while. We just came here because there's good food, Fei ha ha. I am starving. <laughs> the craziest thing, isn't that the Toonami guy? That's all there is. Making a quick wulong. Eight million wulongs! 2.5 million wulongs. 6,300 wulongs. 5,000 wulongs. 300 wulongs. Only 50 Man, wulongs. we need more animes out. like this, man, for reals. But no matter really the adventure, do. you can bet that the thing that gets mentioned at the beginning of the episode will be super important. I want to be a tough guy like you, you know? Come on, I can do it. And super depressing. Master. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Don't try to talk anymore. <laughs> Hang on. No, don't die. Don't die. He dies. Wow. That is sad enough to conjure up some introspective sax music. Yeah, remember the pregnant woman? Yo, that was crazy. 
Can anyone else hear that? Or is that just what my brain sounds like when I watch the show? So revisit the all-time classic anime that was probably your gateway drug into the hard stuff that clearly this is uh, true. inspired other shows this about sci-fi outlaws turned family. Oh shit, are you serious? Between the guitar sting, is this what Firefly is about? Aesthetics okay. That was followed by a movie with mixed reviews. Oh. And while they both might have some all-time great Shush. theme songs, only Cowboys is a literal bop. Starring Bedhead Redemption, <laughs> Aaliyah <laughs> Bounty Angel, mm. Jet Blue, mm. Ed, Ed and Envy, mm. Dog the Bounty Hunter, V with Vendetta, mm. Illegally Blonde, Ladies! Yo! No, you're not. This character designer was one of the best in the industry. Fuck, Ladies. man. There you go, that pregnant woman. It's better if you leave for today. There are other bounty heads to catch. Yo, this, this dude was great. Spike again? If you don't know what I'm talking, Golden Boy. Go, go research Celebrity. that. That shit is great. What can Tamka guide his spirit? <laughs> Abdul Hakim. I'm Whitney Haggis Matsumoto. Get the fuck out of her, no. I'm the youngest chef. <laughs> okay, yes. Power because I'm here with my own twin sister. Nowadays, a 3 8 pneumatic tube isn't in style anymore. Enough, man. I never got no, that. No Back to the future, cowboys. yeah. That's where I met a cowboy. Happy hunting, all you cowboys. You know what they say, cowboy. I want a cowboy. You're a cowboy? She's a cowgirl, I. Aren't we taking this cowboy thing a little too far? An actual cowboy. See you, space cowboy. American healthcare. <laughs> Coming up with 30 million rulags for the basic operation, in addition to 54 years of interest payments. 300 million, 28,000 rulongs. Twitter. People who believe instantly in dramatic fantasies who can be controlled by tiny dots of light. And <laughs> 2020. <laughs> I feel personally offended on that one. Blade Lounger. <laughs> oh, great. They're making a live-action adaptation of my life story. Who's stuck with that job? Oh, nice. See you, Space Cowboy. There you go. Uh, make that see you after you recover from knee surgery, Space Cowboy. There you go. Huh. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. You know, I actually it's met that guy. Sins, it's very Ross, interesting. I, like, what was his name? Google Not Spike now. Spiegel. I mean, Spike Whatever Spiegel happens, was the main guy. Happens. But, all right. Bit Thank you, Honest Trailers. Cowboy yeah, Dance it's spot. funny. I actually no met that, that guy um, a long time ago. I used to work in wow. the okay. Japanese That's animation cool. industry and in Los Angeles. And um, I forgot what... He was filming something for a production, and we were just talking. Like, he said his first gig, his first gig back in the day was to be Giver 3. Um, and I apologize, I forgot his name, because uh, he hasn't really been doing much in my world for a while. But um, Giver 3 was his big thing, um, his first starting animation role. And for me, interesting enough... Giver was the first anime that I was introduced to, so I was loving it uh, a lot. Anyways, uh, man, I, you know, it's funny, I don't think I ever made a video. I might have, I might have put a video for you guys. A lot of times I do a lot of stuff in Japan, I record a lot of things, but I just don't edit it, right? Um, I went to a Cowboy Bebop Jazz, a Cowboy Bebop anniversary, like 20 year anniversary exhibition last year. And it was a restaurant, and they had all the different type of food from the anime. And I was actually really impressed because, um, as I was just telling somebody recently, uh, uh, fans, it was actually in this documentary here, fans in Japan don't really vocally talk about things so much. So it was amazing to me that people even cared about po a Cowboy Bebop at this moment in time. Uh, but it was really cool, but the music that they were playing for whatever reason for me, the jazz music made me actually really depressed. And maybe Cowboy Bebop itself. You know you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to sing it, but you know what I'm talking about. That one particular song just makes you so depressed, I think. And I actually did not enjoy being in that cafe when I left. So, um, the power of anime, though. But... In Japan, believe it or not, in Japan, they still play Tank. Tank is the opening song for Cowboy Bebop. They'd still play it on a variety of shows in Japan. 
And um, so I have never forgotten Cowboy Bebop. Uh, for me, maybe a lot of people have, but I don't think um, most people in Japan still know that opening theme song. So just a little extra information for you. Red Dreaded Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, and if there's any sort of animes that you guys are interested in me checking out, I think now because I'm kind of I'm done with like all the CW shows, Vinland Saga, The Legend of Korra uh, is coming to Netflix right now. Maybe that's one of the reasons they've been talking about it. Um, I finished that already, so you guys can check that out on Patreon. Um, Vinland Saga, uh, um, Doctor Stone. If there's any other animes you would like to see me cover on Patreon, just let me know. Um, I'm down. I got some time. I could do that in between Ghost of Tsushima. Let's do it. Let me know, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.